Hi everybody, it's Diego from Codex and welcome to the 12th lesson of this Arduino course. Today I've brought a servo motor. We're gonna learn how it works and we'll make a car park barrier using it. So if you are ready, let's get started. This servo motor is a rotary actuator that allows for precise control of angular position. It can rotate a maximum of 180 degrees. It's important to say this is not included in the basic starter kit, so you'll have to buy it separately. Let's see how it works. We have to connect three wires from the servo motor to the Arduino board. A red one, which is the power, it will go to the 5 volts. A black one, which will go to the GND pin. And a white one, that will go to the PWM pin. Let's see. First of all, Arduino Uno board, breadboard, well actually I'm not going to use the breadboard now but I will use it later to create the final project. Now the servo motor, here I'm going to rotate it and let's connect it. All right, the one in the middle is the power. Here in my servo motor, you can see that the cable in the middle, okay, is the red one. That goes to the power, it has to go to the five volts. Then this one is the signal and this one is the GND. I remind you, the ground pin is the black one, okay? So if you have someone like this, the black, black wire, will go to the ground pin. In this case, this one is supposed to be black. It will go to the ground pin. And this one will go to PWM pin, for example, number three. This is supposed to be the white one. Here I don't have, well, I have white, but I'm going to use gray so that you can see better. And that's the way it has to be connected. So now let's connect my servo motor. Okay, here we have the servo motor, the Arduino board, and the three jumper wires. White, red, and I didn't have black, so I have used blue, okay? Let's begin with the red one. It has to go to the pin in the center. So here. Okay, and that goes to the 5 volts pin, there. Now, the black one, which goes to the ground pin. So here, the black one, to the ground pin, for example, this one. And the white one, here will go to the PWM pin. So, here. Here we have the servo motor. And now let's connect the Arduino board to the computer by using the USB cable. And let's see how we can code it. All right, let's begin. Let's remove CyberPy. And we're going to add Arduino. We will connect it. And we're gonna make a very basic program to make sure it works. Let's go to events. We can work in live mode. And when right arrow key pressed, and when left arrow key pressed, we're gonna go to pin and we will use this. We will set servo pin three angle as 90. And in this case, when left arrow key pressed, we're gonna set servo pin three angle as zero. And let's press right arrow. Now let's press, we, we have to update, don't forget this. Let's update it. 
update. Now we will have to connect it again. Okay, connect. And let's see, right arrow, nothing. Left arrow, it moves, as you see. Now right arrow, left arrow, okay. It turns 90 degrees. Let's see if we can make it turn 180. Right arrow, left, perfect. Right, left, fantastic. So that works and now we're gonna create our car park barrier. Let's begin. All right, to make the car park barrier, we're gonna need an ultrasonic sensor that will detect when a car is close to the barrier. And we're also going to use an RGB LED that will glow green when the barrier is high and will glow red when the barrier is low. This is gonna be here. So let's connect it as we learned in the past um, lesson. We need this to go to the volts, so it could go here, that's gonna be red. Um, that way we can reorganize this. This could go, wait, here. And now we take a cable, well, yeah, here, better. Now we take a cable to this. This ground pin is gonna go to a different ground pin, basically because if not, the power of the Arduino board could not be enough. So to make sure the servo motor works and the ultrasonic sensor works as well, we're going to connect each component, and this is very important, keep it in mind, to a different GND pin. We have three GND pins, so one for the servo motor, one for the, for the ultrasonic sensor, and one for the RGB LED. All right, so now the tree will go to digital pin six and echo to number seven, for example. So let's go there. That goes to number six, one color. And this one is gonna go to number seven. And now the RGB LED. We need a couple of resistors, one for red and one for green. Green is here, sorry. You know that here in Tinkercad there's a kind of mistake because this is R, this is the cathode, and GB should be green-blue, but here is blue-green. So in your case, and when I um, connect the real RGB LED, we'll have to put this resistor here, okay? Here I'm putting it here because the green is there. Okay, they are gonna go to 10 and 11, for example. Well, 9 and 10, they, they are PWM pins, so it doesn't matter. This is red to 9, for example. Let's go to 9. And this one to 10. Okay. Now the cathode, let me move it there, the cathode that will go, as we said, to a different GND pin, so that one, which is gonna be black, and if I'm not mistaken, everything is perfectly connected, so now let's connect the real components to the Arduino board. All right, the servo motor is already connected, I've done it before, we're also going to use a breadboard, the ultrasonic sensor, the RGB LED, uh, a few jumper wires and resistors that I have over here. And also to simulate the car park barrier, I'm gonna use a piece of tin foil that I have made that I will put here, okay? And that will be the barrier, all right? So, well, let's see. Let's begin with the ultrasonic sensor. I'm gonna put it over here okay here all right there it is 
and as we said this one will go here to the positive rail and the positive rail will be connected to the 5 volts I'm gonna use well any cable this one for example the positive rail to the 5 volts here So as we've done in Tinkercad, this will go to the positive rail, all right? The one from the servo motor. Now we need the ground pin. I'm gonna take this jumper wire and we'll go from the ground pin to the uh, ground pin on the Arduino board. And now the trick and the echo here in my in my ultrasonic sensor I told you in the past video I have a fifth pin which is out but I'm not gonna use it so this one will go trig to digital pin number six and the other one to number seven okay and now the RGB LED, you know that the cathode is the longest leg, which is the second, if we see it from this side. So I'm gonna put it here. And remember, the first is R, red, the second is the cathode, the third is G, blue, and the last, sorry, green, <laughs> and the last one is B, blue, RGB. So we only need the red and the green, we don't need the fourth one, which is the blue. So let's pick a couple of resistors one going from red there for example and another one going from green the third one here as I've shown you in Tinkercad this one will go to digital pin 9 and the green will go to digital pin 10. Well, this is too short. Yeah, but I, I wait. And the ground pin, again, it will go to another ground pin. So the cathode, the second leg of the RGB LED. Let me make sure everything is okay. I think it is. That will go to this ground pin. All right. If I haven't made any mistakes, this is okay, so we're gonna connect it to the computer. All right, now with all the components connected, we're going to create the code. We have to work in upload mode, because if you remember from the last video, we need to use this block, and this block only works in upload mode. This block detects the distance in the ultrasonic sensor. We need trick pin six and echo pin seven. The only event we can use is when Arduino Uno starts up and we're going to do the following forever if else in operator we're going to use this and if the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to my hand is lower than 20 centimeters the barrier is going to move up so we're going to set servo pin 3 angle as 90 and as well we're going to set digital pin 9 as low because this is the red light and we're gonna set digital pin 10 output as high because this is the green light so the RGB LED will glow green and the barrier will be high in the other case when my hand is further than 20 centimeters, so there are no cars approaching, we're going to do the opposite. We're gonna set servo pin three angle as zero. We're gonna turn on the red light because cars cannot pass because the barrier is low and we will turn off the green light. So in this case, the RGB LED will glow red. Let's see if it works. Connect. 
connect. Now we have to upload it, you know. And fingers crossed, guys. When I put my hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor, the barrier opens and the light glows green. And when I remove my hand, the barrier closes and the light glows red. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you liked this interesting and fun project. Try it at home and I hope you enjoy it as much as I have done. See you guys. Bye bye.